I've seen the sci-fi films, read it in the Arthur C. Clarke, Philip K. Dick books, but is this actually happening? Is this real? Or is it a simulation? People could not believe that this was happening and treated it like a bad dream. Something they would awake from in a year or so. Maybe aliens are going to save us. Maybe the world is run by aliens. What am I doing here? Who am I? What is this place? we had a choice, but now it was too late. Will we ever remember what it's truly like to be alive? So what path do you choose? Our determination and focusing on our dreams, we create this reality and determine who and what we are. It was only our lack of knowledge and psychological understanding that pulled us into this evil claw. It couldn't have been introduced without the people's consent. But the fear was too much for people to take action. What am I doing here? Who am I? What is this place? The awakening that happened over those years were the stepping stones to a new reality. We couldn't understand it at first, as the truths were too much to digest. Through that painful and never-ending darkness came a brighter light. In a world where we cannot choose, our light becomes weak. Do you want your light to shine? Or will you be overthrown by darkness? We are consciousness, and we created ourselves as physical beings. We wanted to be here. We chose to be here. But becoming heavily trapped in the mind space and mixed up in the lies and false realities, we are separated from our true selves. Will you listen? Can the human race unite and make this happen? Humans have lost their own vision, given it away, sleepwalked into it, and followed in herds, sit down, Stand up. Two plus two equals five. But people simply couldn't find the desire to wake up. They enjoyed being the subservient slave. What am I doing here? Who am I? What is this place? We never learned that once we connect within, we are the ones in control. We chose to be here, but becoming heavily trapped in the mind space and mixed up in the lies and false realities, we are separated from our true selves. It's time we connected with the real story of what we are. We need to create our own narrative you prefer to live in someone else's script? Society has drifted into a coma, a deep sleep. What will become of us? experimented with, tested on, to see what can become of us. 
Is our level of consciousness being halted or even replaced? Are we being stopped from advancing into the greatest vision of ourselves? to save us. Maybe the world is run by aliens. Am I alien? What am I doing here? Who am I? What is this place? I don't recognize it anymore. People could not believe that this was happening and treated it like a bad dream. Something they would awake from in a year or so. I've seen the sci-fi films, read it in the Arthur C. Clarke, Philip K. Dick books. But is this actually happening? Is this real? Or is it a simulation? Maybe aliens are going to save us. Maybe the world is run by aliens. What am I doing here? Who am I? What is this place? We are spiritual beings experiencing a physical reality, but we trapped ourselves in someone else's dream. The dream seems real, but we do have the ability to change it at any time. Are you scared to be an individual? The awakening that happened over those years were the stepping stones to a new reality. We couldn't understand it at first, as the truths were too much to digest. Through that painful and never-ending darkness came a brighter light. In a world where we cannot choose, our light becomes weak. Do you want your light to shine? Or will you be overthrown by darkness? We had been miseducated and misguided, which led to our own abuse. The human body, mind and spirit had been manipulated to imprison us on this planet. repetitive mind control people were hypnotized believing that they were free in reality they were held in the dream frozen without ever realizing the true existence to this planet we lived in a Truman Show existence walking unconscious to the true reality around us What sounded like complete madness to most was in fact the truth. The lies had to come out. Society had to shift. So making this shift within yourself is the way we are going to change. In our subconscious sleep and denial of self, most people didn't understand why they were alive.
we repeated history again and again. If this is the way it is, well, so be it. We repeated history again and again. But if people choose not to listen to the truth, it will always be our own denial that brought us to the horror. The reality you desire is right in front of you. If you don't like it, you can change it. Get off the ride, but that starts with you. Your own thoughts and feelings. But when we awake from the dream, we awake within ourselves and connect to our internal power. A power beyond fear and a connection which is non-material. Where do you hide yourself? How do you express the inner you? People have now become used to living in fear. It was as if the script had already been written, but no one had quite expected it to play out like this. But it was down to us to change our own mind patterns about our perspectives and discover how we truly create as a human in this world. If we never ask questions, we will never get any answers. It is only our lack of expression that is creating this dark world. Where do you question your reality? Where do you step out of yourself and ask how your own actions contribute to this darker world? By understanding that you are the creator of your reality, it will empower you to make your choices through critical thinking and not to be spoon-fed information from media channels that have no interest in your life. Every thought, breath and action you take is contributing to the tomorrow world. How do you participate in the reality? Where do you look to positively help grow yourself and the society you live in? We only listened to our minds which bred the fear, while our true voice within hearts became disconnected. We repeated history again and again. We lived in a Truman Show existence, walking unconscious to the true reality around us. What sounded like complete madness to most was in fact the truth. The lies had to come out, society had to shift. We repeated history again and again. But if people choose not to listen to the truth, it will always be our own denial that brought us to the horror. If this is the way it is, well, so be it. 
in our subconscious sleep and denial of self, most people didn't understand why they were alive. By understanding that you are the creator of your reality, it will empower you to make your choices through critical thinking and not to be spoon-fed information from media channels that have no interest in your life. Are you ready to realize your full potential? Will you allow your truth and your beauty to shine? Where do you stand strong and lead in your life? But it was down to us to change our own mind patterns about our perspectives and to discover how we truly create as a human in this world. Where do you hide yourself? How do you express the inner you? People were not in the moment, staying frozen in their personal and past traumas. Now, the pain had lifted from the collective shadow and surfaced for the world to see. But people's individual brain patterns had created a distortion within reality. Most had not done the self-work. So, inevitably, working together would only lead to more separation. Do you transform your inner traumas? Where do you resist change in your life? Can you take full responsibility for that part that you play? The media had brainwashed people with lies and we allowed it. People desired it. They were hungry like candy for it. Society had become divided. Social media had been programming people's beliefs and identities for years. People lived within algorithms without even knowing or even caring. We were left divided, and people's constant arguments had separated the unique bond of humanity. The ones that did not want to be part of the experiment chose the human spiritual path. We live within a reality of choice. Humans are free, but have chose to live in a prison world. Even though it may be unclear for some, we are all awakening on different levels, with a few of us who can see what lies ahead. There is so much possibility, and human energy is extremely powerful in overcoming most, if not all, obstacles it faced. When will we all realize that we have the power to create reality at a rapid speed? People thought they didn't have a choice. There is a better way, a stronger way. We must act, we must stand up in our true integrity in every moment. This force was not going to stop and it needed our attention and our action. The human ego was creating the true divide between humanity. With the outside reality consistently distorting our inner perceptions, 
When we were led down rabbit holes dimming the reality around us, it led us to distrust our core. We have always been in this human experiment under a control that goes very, very deep. It is our job to understand the dynamics of its geometry and work within it. We live a short life and the importance of our journey is to unlock the soul's potential. So we move our consciousness into a higher vibrational state. It's only then that we can create the world of our dreams. Do you trust your instincts? Do you honor your own personal truth in all aspects of your life? Or do you keep your light dimmed because of the fear and pain of what you might lose? The whole system had become more corrupt than ever, with contrived events created only to build tension and conflict within the people. In these times, you could only trust yourself. We live in a reality of infinite choice. That power and greed can only exist through the support of the collective. We can expand from or choose to restrict our own growth. It's our choice. Where in this reality do you restrict your life? Do you create unnecessary mental boundaries that suffocate your existence? We just had to go along with hoping a brighter light would appear. Society shut down due to our lack of participation in it. If we wanted society to happen, we had to make it happen and express ourselves within it. Reality is what we make of it, and it is by our choice. Are you an active participant in society? Or do you sit on the fence waiting for this reality to be created for you? This system was built to implode and there was nothing anyone could have done. We just had to ride the wave and see it through. But people still held onto the banks, letting the river tear them apart and pulling down others in the process. But consciousness has awoken and humans have expanded to a much higher vibrational rate. The fear and danger they wanted now cannot be implemented. Although a small number, enough of us have awoken. And once that number increases, it will create a wave of unstoppable consciousness. Because when we ask questions, we eventually get answers. Where in your life do you question this reality? Or do you choose to be spoon-fed lies that destroy this incredible human experience? A future world started forming after the truth surfaced. When we are in denial, it will only make it grow stronger and feed our negative shadow. It will exist in an invisible form and still grow unless we shine a light on it. Rebellion against corruption is essential for our human growth.
we must remember that it's our choice to create what future we want. We are creating our reality every day. We all have the freedom to speak and be who we wish. Freedom is the right to speak and express our truth, even when some do not like it. Especially when it questions their reality too much. We have a short lifespan, and we must be aware that when we leave this planet, we will leave an imprint behind. So what imprint do you want to leave behind? What truth will you speak? Will you step out and live your highest truth every day? Or do you want to live in a box, stopping yourself from creating the beneficial future society that you desire in your heart? sleepwalkers of our world kept reality in the dream cycle, unaware to what they were consuming, allowing their astral forms to be controlled. When docile to our astral forms and distracted with the drama of life, we allowed outside energies to interfere, distorting our frequency fields, creating an interference to the truth of what we are. Too many were drawn to the noise and didn't listen to the heartbeat that was becoming fainter by the day. Were we meant to completely understand this matrix around us? The obstacles we face are part of that journey and through them we discover the deeper meaning to this life. We must find heaven on earth, even within this madness. The insanity kept going, but there were some of us that switched off to it and wanted to evolve beyond that fear state. The paths had split. You could clearly see the divide. Most believed it ended when we left, but there was so much more. We had been misled on this journey, believing we had to serve another force. when it was only ourselves, the sacred humans, that we had to rediscover. Once deactivated, fear became afraid of itself and could not enter into our frequency. As physical and as solid as this reality is, it is still purely energy, just as we are. Through the density, we have become lost in the beliefs that are separate from the self. We got lost in another identity, a false program. Always a choice, but we didn't choose wisely. We constantly chose fear over logic, hate before love and anger before reasoning which became a whole split in our process because we had been taught that this reality was the only place where existence thrived. We were cut off from the higher consciousness, suffocated by a reality that inverted who we were. 
society sleepwalked daily, unaware to the real pain. For this new human to emerge, it would mean all old negative patterns would have to be removed. Were we ready? Was humanity ready to let go of the old world? We were going somewhere very special, but we had to learn in stages, understanding that darkness is a way to elevate into the light. And as darkness surfaced, it can feel powerful. But it must be known that it will pass and it too eventually moves on. Now this is our time and a time like no other. We have the ability to reach who and what we really are. A chance to break free, release the chains that we have held onto for so long. But we have to remember, we are the ones holding those chains and we can let them go at any time. People have been led to believe that not speaking is a way to avoid any conflict. Laying low and out of the way will get them through life. In becoming the sleepwalker, you can pretend this isn't happening. But that only leads to the deconstruction of the self and a dead end. Where do you sleepwalk and ignore conflicts or issues in your own life? Where do you project your fears, denying responsibility for your actions? The maze was only placed there for us to awaken from it, and the veil had already begun to fall. Reality was fragmenting. We were losing our minds, systems had broken down, and a new world was forming. We had fallen into a coma, a deep sleep over years of conditioning. It became hard to accept the truth. The rug had been pulled from under our feet, all designed to redesign our psyches. Most just accepted it and allowed it to happen becoming frozen, paralyzed in a physical existence. We were muffled by the whispers, tortured by our shadows and lived a life by design. Bruised by the terror of the mind, fear had shaped the world. We accepted the evil and ignored our true being. The darkness was strong, but it could never overcome the true human. We had been taught to ignore the demons, deny the evil, keep it all hidden in the shadows. But this only created the disease of the human condition and locked us in their existence. Even the New Age movements twisted the truth, distorting the light, tricking us into the false sense of spirituality, where we stay as the follower and are led by the guru. We were tricked to believe we were purely only a physical form. When we are spirits in a physical form, we are a frequency of light and are here to awaken these dark forces. Not to push them further into the shadows, but to be aware of their presence. Staying docile to the conspiracy only allows the lower vibrations to manifest the reality they desire. It was a path we had to take and we had to walk the cliff edge to see how far we could go. Until we saw the extreme danger in front of us, we could only then leave the negative mind patterns behind. But the horror film had begun to be real and to be seen. We disregarded our own life force, giving it away on a daily basis. This ultimately allowed the dark cloud to shroud humanity. When we walk self-aware in the dark abyss, we can find the treasures and can elevate our souls further on our journey. We can awaken and find the heaven on earth that we are all searching for. The old model of our world was coming to an end. 
the cycle was in a transition. This was more significant than anyone could ever expect, and even the instigators didn't expect human consciousness to be so strong. Through the trauma that the Dark Force had created, it actually awoke us by being so dark that we couldn't stand for it any longer. The danger had become real. We were becoming aware and becoming stronger every day. The maze was only something we would get lost in temporarily. It's scary when you don't know where you're going. It's frightening when you don't know where things will lead. But we will get to the center and we will discover who we really are. To awaken from the maze, we must first awaken ourselves. Will you awaken? Or will you settle for being lost in the maze?